票。You might recognise this picture. It's a volcano in southern Italy that threatens the lives of 600,000 people, and in 79 AD, this happened. The Roman city of Pompeii was thriving under the dormant shadow of Mount Vesuvius, but little did the people know that they'd be killed in 24 hours. Mm -hmm. Smoke was actually sighted issuing from the ground nearby the volcano, but a Roman senator just claimed that it was a bit of dust flying around. Then Pompeii was wiped off the map due to the destructive force mm -hmm. of Mount Vesuvius. 600,000 people will die when Vesuvius erupts, and being one of the most unpredictable volcanoes in Europe, you might be wondering why so many people live there. Well, fortunately, the Italian government offered 40,000 euros to each of those 600,000 people to help them relocate outside of La Zona Rossa, which is the red zone, the place where people won't stand a chance when Vesuvius blows. Now, has anyone ever experienced an earthquake before? Well, that doesn't look like many of you. Well, if you haven't, it's not a pleasant experience. Naples, which is the modern-day city standing in the shadow of Mount Vesuvius, will be rocked by earthquakes in the near future. Then a six-mile-high ash cloud will erupt from Vesuvius's crater. Then a pyroclastic surge will take place. Now, this sounds complicated, but it's when the ash cloud collapses under its own weight. Then it starts rolling down the mountain like a huge rolling fog at 100 miles per hour. Now, you're not in for a treat if you get caught in one of these. You'll suffocate from all the toxic gases. And uh, just when you think, uh, thought things could get any worse, Naples will be smothered by a lava flow. So as you can see, it won't be a pretty picture when Vesuvius erupts again. It's already overdue for an eruption, and Italian authorities will only know 14 days in advance if there will be an eruption. Fortunately, the Italian government has taken many measures to decrease the amount of time that will be needed to evacuate the area. One way that they've done this is they made uh, Mount Vesuvius a national park in 1991. This means it's protected by the Ministero dell'Ambiente, which is the Italian Environment Ministry. This prevents any future construction within the national park. So, as they say, see Naples and die. Thank you. <laughs> Well then, Thank you. How, how does that compare to your other public speaking engagements? I've got a bigger audience. You've got a bigger audience, <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's just getting bigger and bigger. Very good. You'll be on the full TED um, stage soon. So you're, you've got family sort of connections with, with, yes. with Italy. So that's the sort of, that's sort of the link. Yeah. I love the fact that you can talk about a sort of death by pyro, pyroclastic cloud in such a chirpy voice. <laughs> Today's weather is fine with a, with a chance of immediate death and destruction. Anyway, now the headlines. Um, yeah, you've got, a, you've got a future there. What, um, there's a, a, a German writer, I think it was called Goethe, he said, make your life on the edge of a volcano. In other words, live, be excited, everything's a bit, a bit risky. Do you, could you see yourself living on the edge of a volcano? I mean, you live in Harlow, so yeah. Yeah, it's the next... I mean, there's no volcanoes nearby, but... No, but it's, I... you're on the edge. Yeah. <laughs> All the time. Okay. And have you actually been to a volcano? Uh, yes, I went oh, you've, to... You've been to that one. Yeah. Oh, they're, you, they're your photos, aren't they? Yeah. They, yeah, okay. And any other countries have you... Um, I've been to Spain, but there aren't any volcanoes there. They're extinct. Where was the last, the last volcanic eruption? Was it Hawaii? Is there one in Hawaii? Um, yeah, I think the most recent one. Yeah, yeah, okay. Brilliant. There we go. Okay, Joshua, thank you very much. Thank you.